Hello everybody and welcome to August. This month's flower of the month is the dahlia. The dahlia is native uh, to Mexico and it's actually the national flower of Mexico but we've adopted it this month in August for our flower of the month. Okay so the dahlia belongs to the Asteraceae family so it's kind of linked to helianthus, sunflowers and chrysanthemums but you wouldn't necessarily think so to look at them. Occasionally we have suggested chrysanthemums to use as an alternative to dahlias because they're not actually available all year round. So I'm going to introduce you to, to some of the varieties but first I'm going to explain the symbolism about dahlias. Now um, dahlias are supposed to symbolise wealth, elegance, love and involvement. So a perfect gift to give your loved ones really because it symbolises that I actually want to be with you. So yeah, a very romantic flower. <laughs> so that's our dahlias. Um, the season is different depending on whether they're glass house grown or outdoor grown. The glass house season starts from early March and goes right through until November. The outdoor season is from early July to October. The only issue with the outdoor varieties is once we get that first frost, then unfortunately the crop is finished. So they, the outdoor varieties are very, very weather dependent. Okay, so we've got several varieties here that I'm going to introduce you to. Different styles and shapes, which makes them really versatile. Um, they're very suitable for almost any type of occasion really, especially weddings. They lend themselves to your classic wedding, your vintage wedding or even your bohemian wedding. And we have even used them for festival style weddings as well where you want that very outdoorsy kind of appearance. So I'm going to introduce you to them now. So this variety here, uh, now this is actually what we call a pom-pom dahlia. This one is netty yellow. You can see why it's called a pom-pom because it's almost a complete globe. Sort of symmetrical petals from the centre and they're almost like little cups. So, yeah, that's our pom pom daily. That particular variety, as I said, yellow netty. Then we have, similar to the pom pom dahlia, um, but more of a ball dahlia. Now, the ball dahlia is theoretically slightly larger than the pom pom dahlia and it's supposed to be slightly more spherical. I have to be honest with you, on these two particular varieties, it's quite difficult to tell the difference. This one is called Purple Fox. Now we go on to the slightly more interesting ones, possibly. Then we have the decorative selection of dahlias. Decorative ones tend to be a little bit unusual in that usually they're two-toned. This particular one is called Checkers. Quite interesting. You've got a deep red, um, almost a claret-coloured red, and then a, a white ivory tip to the petal. So that one's checkers. So now we move on to one of my favourite ones. Now this particular dahlia is called Chat Noir, so black cat. It's a semi-cactus variety. I know it looks nothing like a cactus and it certainly isn't prickly, but it has that light sharp point to the petal. And each petal, I don't know if you can see that, each petal is slightly curled halfway along, which kind of gives it almost that arch, which creates, I guess, that cacti kind of feel. So that Chat Noir, really lovely one, perfect, perfect colour for a deep burgundy themed event. So that Chat Noir. Then next we, will, we move on to the water lily style. Now the water lily is kind of as the name would suggest really, it looks almost like a water lily. If you imagine that floating on top of the water, you could almost, if it was pink in the colour of water lily, you could almost envision that being a water lily. So that's your water lily variety. This particular one is called Martin Swan. Very popular, I have to say. Um, one of the most popular white ones, I would say, really. And then finally, everybody's favourite, everybody loves this particular 
um, dahlia because of its size, because of its colour. So this is Café Olé. Really unique dahlia. And actually, compared to some that we get in, in this variety, these are actually quite small. I have actually seen them almost the size of dinner plates. So Café Olé, an amazing dahlia. Okay, so one thing with the dahlias is they are quite sensitive. They're really delicate. They do damage very, very, very easily. They're sensitive to bacteria. They do have hollow stems, so the way that you would condition would be slightly different. But keep posted and watch for some of our other videos because we're going to show you how to condition them correctly in one of our other videos later on. They need to be handled with care. So if you're wrapping them, do make sure that you wrap them delicately because if they squash against each other, they get bruised very, very quickly. When you're buying them from the website and we are sending them out by courier, I would strongly recommend that you order a few more stems than you actually need. That's to allow for any damage. Because as I say, they are really sensitive. They don't take a lot of bruising. So I would also suggest that if you're transporting them long distances, once they've been made up into an arrangement, make sure there's lots of packaging around them or perhaps just insert the dailies when you get on site because they don't travel awfully well. So that's our dahlias. That's our flower of the month in August. And what better way to celebrate the summer than an array of brightly coloured dahlias. I hope you've enjoyed watching us. Don't forget to share us with your friends and like us. And obviously keep those questions coming. We'll answer them as best we can. Until we see you next time, goodbye for now.